Hey guys, it's Jaro here, and today we're playing The Stanley Parables. Yes, this is an old game. Yes, I have seen people play this. Yes, I know this is old. Yada, yada, yada. I can tell computer's old, whatever. I actually remember my friends playing this in primary school, but we're going to play it anyway. The subtitle should pop up, but we'll see what happens. I did ask them to. So, you know what? Let's just chill, spend some time. You know, you and I, we're just going to chill and play a game. This is very similar to... Oh, what's the other game? I don't know. You'll probably see at the end of the video, probably be like a little car that will pop up. Anywho, um, it's the other really long game I played. I can't remember now. With all the little like bubbles and talking about how his friend was depressed and la da da da. I don't really remember. Anywho, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna like set for a sec. I'm really excited to play this game to be honest because I haven't played this game yet. And I'm excited, and I've wanted to play this for a long time. So, yeah. Also, please keep an eye out, guys, for my update video that should be coming out in a week or two, I think, or a week. Because I got some exciting information I want you guys to hear. So, keep your ear out for that. Keep an eye out for that video, and yeah. So, this is the loading screen dance. This is the loading screen song. This, this is, is the, the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee That's number sad. 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him every day life on his desk telling him what buttons to push how long to push them and in what order This is what wow, employee 427 did every day of every month of every year And although others might have considered it soul-rending Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in as though he had been made exactly for this job and Stanley was happy uh huh. And then one day, so something I don't think very so. peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never Stanley quite forget. Parables. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up wow. to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. Happen. This complete isolation. Something was very that clearly was a wrong. Weird cut. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits <laughs> and regained his senses, he got up from his desk <gasps> and stepped out no of feet. his office. Oh, I'm Stanley. Something. I hate Mondays. This is actually quite nice. Can I open anything? Hello? Peoples? Is it the day off and I came in late today? I mean, I came in today. Oh, I do that all the time. Hello? Hello? Where's Mandy's computer? I swear to you, if she took that thing home again, someone needs to have a talk to her. Hello? Bob? I can't get through the door. Wait, did you drop all your papers again? God dang it, old man. Can't trust you to do anything. Hello? Mark, you playing solitaire? That rascal him. Okay. Hello? Hello? Did no one tell me the day? This is not the day we're supposed to come in. It's April Fool's Day because I don't really celebrate that. So, can someone give me some help? See the IT, uh, the construction guys are fixing that still. That's good. Hello, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Why is there a door that leads to nowhere? That's weird. Hello? 
Hello. Someone spilled the coffee. Jack, was that you? I just realized I'm listing favorite YouTubers. Wow. Open the door. Let me. What am I supposed to do? Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. There's papers on the floor. What do you want me to do? Or it was over here. How did I get up before? I just kind of stood. Okay, I need to find one of these panels that can be that is already opened. I can crawl. Has to be one of these with a desk. I know, I need to get in there so I can walk up there and go out. But how? Here we go. I'm standing up. Now what? What am I supposed to be doing? How did I even do that? Oh, I just... How did I? Okay. So, I can stand up here for a reason, I think. Okay, are there any of these boxes knocked over? Papers, papers, any knocked boxes? No, what am I missing? What? Hold on. Let me just do options for a sec. Yeah, save and that. Thank you. Okay, resume game. Am I literally this dumb? I cannot figure out the first section of this game. I'm following the paper trail. I see this. I get up here. But now what? What am I missing? Three, two, one. G'day guys, it's Jar here. Um, I don't know why I just said that. Anyway, um, so I just restarted the game because that, at the end of the hallway, should have been a room. To a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now, should I listen to the game or should I not listen to the game? I'm curious, so I'm gonna go through the right this door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That is correct, I did want to. Ah, yes, <sighs> truly a room <laughs> worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. So yeah, um, I had to restart the game because it wouldn't let, it wasn't showing me the meeting room and the dialogue was all wrong, so I reset it. Ooh, what's this? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. 
I'm not your enemy. Mm -hmm. really, I'm not. I, I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is, it is. the story has been about nothing but you all this time. This Since when? Someone been neglecting Stanley. Someone you forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who's her? So that's Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. No. To let her back into your life. She's been no. waiting. Who's she? Yellow. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the Boom. platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Yeah, because I listen to you, narrator. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Bit of a Usain Bolt moment over there. <laughs> But yeah, I ain't getting no one to tell me what to do. So yeah, definitely this is a lot better because What could it mean? Standard Before he didn't say that, so simply Mr. Memo. That is better. Cause before that was a black box which you all just saw, when so Stanley came to a set right. of two open doors. Yada yada he the door on his left. Because yeah, there none was not of this was a single before. person here either. Feeling a wave of disappointment, <laughs> Stanley fight. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. But how was that playing? Oh, I don't even make a shadow. I'm a nobody. Da da ding. <laughs> so they said boss office. Bows. Coming to a I'm a bows. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is up in some countries. I want to know what's down. An ominous red light. That's good to know. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he because I wanted to. Everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was no. crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did yeah. doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Mm -hmm. No, Stanley said to they himself, are. this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found One, the words two. for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt. To have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to I mean, himself, if he's sleeping on the job. I I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go <coughs> back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and what? Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is what? there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now that is true. Was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought yep. it all very odd, That's creepy. and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley I don't know, but I'd like to find the right end. Now, as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, 
He knew for certain Help. that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a yeah, part voice of himself out. too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through. And cough up. <laughs> I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let I me continue why, pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want Simple my life. apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Um, okay. <laughs> and I'm still here. <laughs> Stanley begins. Is that oh, great? Please, someone uh, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. That was loud ish. Still weird, but cool. I this guess. is the story of a woman named Mariella. That was a guy. Mariella Two seconds woke ago. up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon Me? turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people the look art like. Style, and in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my she mind. She did. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered I'm down the, the floor, meeting bro. she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran which she did not do she just stood there and keep looking at my dead body that's good to know the end is never the end the end is never the end Okay, so that's two endings. Coming to he a staircase, Stanley head. walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's haunted, bro. Whoa. That's a hell of an off. <laughs> Sorry. Exclusive bathroom. Oh, I need a pee. Bro, I need to go pee. Secretary's not here. Okay. Boss. Stepping into Whoa. his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known I want to know what was the, code the is. keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five but of course stan yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck and the stanley parable thing the back now into the newly opened passageway oh. what what's well, so it called the beginner's guide the other game i just remembered sorry <laughs> that i just should tell you but yeah, the beginning side and the Stanley Parables, I believe, are made by the same people or same company. I'm not really sure. But I got it in a bundle, so. Thanks, team! <laughs> Basically. Itchy, itchy, come along, a puppy, a puppy, a bear, a cheek, cheek, frog. 
This is the lighting screen song. This is the lighting screen dance. Into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Uh. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why yeah, why does a button have a shadow? I don't. When for years it had never occurred to him, this question would not go unanswered for long. Hello, it's me. Through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, that says escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Bye. Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Yeah. 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 The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Whoa. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley <laughs> thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Ooh, bridge, bridge, bridge. Don't like bridges, but bridge. <sighs> it's one of the one things I don't like is bridges. I don't know why. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the Whoa. number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, That's creepy. one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What is this box? Okay, that was not a good sound. Okay. How many people are there? 600. Bye then? Wait. This is great and all, but... This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason I wouldn't he be was surprised. happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone I mean, else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly yes, spent it's possible. his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad, or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he I agree, would dismantle Stanley. the controls once and for all. Ooh, button. Not the five. That's a four, I think. Three. So five. Three. Four. One. Two. Why did I just see three? Three. I have no idea what these buttons. Oh, that one. Whoops, wrong staircase. All that metal sound, like the ding, ding, ding. How do you get that with just regular shoes? Something tells me that I still don't have this right. I need power. I can bloom and see what I'm doing. But I'm still gonna go over and just see if it makes a difference. Hitting, you know, the one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, big red button. Well, let me hit it. That didn't do anything. I wanna hit the giant red button. Big red button. 
So you only place as ginormous button. How do I turn you all online? This is a question that Stanley asked, but did not get an answer to. Stanley searches and searches, still not sure really what is happening. He leaves and goes to the end and wonders where the hell is he. He finds a sign that says system power. When at last, he found the source. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. I'm Is that what you sorry. wanted? Control? No. no Stanley. Maybe. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls Sorry. Off. I couldn't hold it back anymore. If you throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire right. complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. What do I do? It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a one, shame one, we have one, so little time left to enjoy it. Five. Mere moments Over until here. the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely Hit. know where to start. Two. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment Wait, of sorry. solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly three. what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you Bastard. free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Three, three, Sometimes three. when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into you say the this ground, a lot? swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make like sense this. of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it Where's go. Three? But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will Ten. be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional Green seconds, button. Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? We enter passcode. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. I see you made humble. This is not a challenge. Fine. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy Let's watch it, it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately go ahead, to your then. life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. 
And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I'm I I'm gonna laugh at yours, because yours up. sucks. True. Yeah, bring me back to life now, boy. Alright, I promise this time we'll actually follow through. I don't know why, so we had to press the on button. I don't know. I don't think that was an actual way of winning that, but... One of the two. Two eight four six. Into his manager's but office, I just remember was once when this came out. I was in primary school, man. This was the jam. Of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety is not nope. healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. No. No, thank you. I just want this to open, please. Also, open sesame. This is the loading dance. This is the loading screen dance. Loading screen dance. Loading screen dance. How the monitors jumped to life. Their yeah, true nature shock. revealed. Each bore the uh, number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to <laughs> Sorry, that made you sick. I apologize. Stanley, one of them. I don't care. This place where freedom meant nothing. I don't care. I ship it. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. Voice, will you it shut up in my true. head? I'm gonna Stanley give you a name, Thomas. You know why? Time? Was this the only reason he was? His boy, you remind me of Thomas job, Sanders. His emotions had been manipulated to accept Those voices he has, you know, well, not voices he has, but those characters he plays. No, he refused to believe it. <laughs> he couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No. Because I'm gonna make you an offer. The heart of the you. operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as you the know voice reality shut of his up, past Thomas. began to sink in. Stanley decided that this is not <laughs> just ample. Is that it? I shut down your system, boy. Hello, blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? That's what I just asked. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries I really don't did care. this strange building hold? But as sunlight but that's streamed just into a the theory. chamber, a game theory. none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. Tree. But happiness. Tree. Perhaps Tree. Perhaps his goal Birds. had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer yeah, would anyone because he couldn't hold it back anymore. What to do or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth Aww. knowing. Stanley stepped That's a through niceness. the open door. I'm trying to. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. I want to the turn around. Of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. I'm not going to tell you now. Exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Breathe and in. Stanley was happy. Breathe out. Aww, that's a cute little ending. 
Beat the game. Achievement unlocked. Cool. Is that the official ending? What? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to but... go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright. I have completed the game. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Yes, this is on a cycle. Um, I think that's just what it does. But thank you guys so much for doing this episode. Playing this game with me. Um, I'm sorry that the beginning part for some reason stuffed up. It's fixed. That is cool. Um... I will probably use the G'day guys, this jar here part from when I said, I don't know why I said that, but I'm going to use that probably, so. Anyway, Jarrah says, in the next video, sarcasm out, let's bring a very disgusted hug. Bye bye See ya. Don't worry, don't worry, be happy.